Hi, it's Jill with Crick Flix, and I've had a few ask. Um, I haven't done a tour in a while of my my scrapbook and I'm not, or my scrapbook room or my office. Haven't done it in a while, so I'm just going to go over a couple things here. On the back of my door, using these little plastic hooks that you can get at any Walmart, Target, uh, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, anywhere they have them. They just stick with tape. I put them on the back of my door, and then I hung my embellishments some of them <laughs> um, and I've got them colorized one row is green and then I have blue pink um, down here silvers and blacks and then I put those same things on the back of the wall here with if this is easier for me because when I'm working I can see this wall and see exactly what I have so that's one thing that I've changed and again when I am working and I'm sitting in my chair which would be right here, I can see perfect what I have. Um, I'm going to next show you my clip it ups. Okay, now I'm over in another part and I've got a couple of the clip it ups that I have. Um, it metal, here's my metal embellishments and uh, I've got some of my bling on here, lots of bling on here. Um, some these are the stickers I use on all of my or bling blingy kind of stickers glittery stickers that I use on my frozen pieces and then uh, down here sitting on a stack this piece here is all my glitters and foils papers and then I have another clip it up here that has some more flowers and just a whole bunch of stuff it's easier and Jenna is loving it because now when she's working on a book she can see the pieces a lot easier than before they were in a drawer on um, the end where these stack packs are there's where I hang my mats um, these are all my 12 by 24 that's the only thing I use because there's no point in having a 12 by 12 inch mat because I, there's no point in having a 12 by 12 and a 12 by 24 because you can use the 12 by 24 even if you're doing smaller pieces. It doesn't make any difference. Then here we've got my ink caddy and here are all of my Martha Stewart punches and again all of my paper down here. Lots of paper. Here is where I keep all of my ink in this cabinet for my printer. As you can see I always stock a lot of inks and down there are just things for the my granddaughters when they're wanting to do crafts and they don't want to go to their room and let me see what else did I change here okay, okay I'm here's back. my cabinet that I keep all my pop my stamps are up there and the tools to apply my inks and here's my embossing powders across here this is for heat embossing and here is my uh, glossy accents that I use a lot of and I think that everyone is aware and that's why I have so many of them and down here are my my stickles but these are liquid pearls they're made by the same company um, Ranger and they're like I shouldn't call them stickles they're made by Ran Ranger but they're liquid pearls and then I have over here some other liquid pearls and back here some um, glitter spritzes and back in there glitter mist um, glimmer mist is what they're called so this is a cabinet that hangs on my wall and over it is a lamp and my 64. Um, here's my, I'll turn this light off. This is now how I put my orders. I pin them up with the clips so that I can get at them and keep them organized. And I put the date of the order and all of that right on my invoices. Then along here I have all of my stickles and it goes around to there. Now these stickles that you see here that are all sitting upright are brand new and have not been opened. All of these that are turned upside down are my open stickles. These are the ones that I have in use and then down here I keep one that I alternate the colors. so when I'm working on a project I take all of these out put them away and then fill them with the colors that I'm going to need. But this is something that I changed since the last time I did a film of my craft room is that I just didn't show how many stickles I have. 
Okay, okay and over here by my work area, here's my laptop, and this is where you always see me working. And over here are my little drawers that I keep all of my baker's twine and buttons. Oh, this is in the wrong drawer. No wonder I couldn't get it in there when I was trying. Those are all my buttons. I'll put my baker's twine where it goes. And then up in this one is the shells that I use on my centerpieces, like my ear, my um, Little Mermaid, anything to do with the sea. And then over here are, are just all every kind of googly eye. Since I have so much of that, I have bags of buttons up here. And then these are all the containers that are full of brads, um, things full of bling, and all of these are just full of embellishments between bling buttons and I don't know what all is in there. So, and then up here is my tool. And okay, now we're at my desk where you see me, where I'm always filming and working. This is my drawer full of what I would call these are lace trims, my ribbons, but they're, they're tool. These are all tools and these are my foo-foos that I use on my centerpieces like that. And actually, I'm going to take this one out because I'm going to be using this peach one on those centerpieces in my next video. But anyway, that's where I keep these. And in this drawer below are my glitter ribbons and just other ribbons. I've got more ribbon, but this is, these are the ones I use most frequently. And... Then down here are specialty papers again. Um, let me see what else I'm missing here that I've changed. The reason I have to change it so much is because I keep getting more and more stuff. But I think that's pretty much it. Uh, in my closet there is my uh, distress inks and other rolls of tool, new ones, backups. That middle shelf is roll full of extra pieces. Uh, and then up here are envelopes, up there are gift bags, and then all my boxes and things are stored downstairs because they do not fit in my office. And I think that's pretty much it. I don't believe I've made any other changes. This will be pretty much the extent. I will pan through my office here and show you. Again, there is the door where I would walk in. This is a little bright with this light. And... This is pretty much what it looks like. That's my desktop that 90% of the time I'm working on. This is my laptop that I usually have running, watching, whatever, while I'm working, if I'm not filming. And there's one of my silhouettes. If I'm working two, the other one goes over here. I've got plenty of space for the mat. So there's one. And then over there are the ribbon caddies that I did not like hanging there when they pull. When you pull the ribbon out, they wrap around each other and I don't like it. So I'm going to find something else to use that for. There is one of my printers. And then there's EK Success um, punches up on that shelf. And again, this is pretty much what it looks like when you walk in. And I got a light bulb burned out. And this is why it gets so hot in here. I've got all these lights in here, and my computer's running. I have a light here for when I'm working on this station. I have another light working when I'm working on that. And it gets hotter and blazes in here, so I'm always complaining about how hot I am. That is why. So anyway, if you had any questions about anything, I, I, again, the only reason I'm doing this again is I've got numerous requests if I would do an updated and show any changes I've made. So that's what I'm doing. Have a good one. Bye-bye.